Hello, it's Outline Man, and excuse my voiceover on this, but yeah, my dialogue wasn't working. I have to do some post commentary. So, yeah, this was Raging Blast. Um, I guess the funny part is that this is a new way for me to do my videos. Uh, I've already played it, and I'm talking after the fact. So, if you hear me, well, that's why you hear me in this way. So, I tried my best in this game. This game was. I don't know, something just didn't feel right about it. It's like, like I'm going through the menus right now, so we got all the menus. Uh, Dragon Ball Collection seems to be the story mode, so we're gonna go into that right now. But yeah, I was playing this game and then something just didn't feel right. Like, I never really played the Rage and Blast game before, like, uh, the Rage and Blast game was like cool to me, but I never could find it in a store and buy it. I bought Rage and Blast 2. I liked Rage and Blast 2. I didn't love it though. I could never understand what what about it I didn't like though. But Raging Blast 1, well, you can see with the gameplay of how I do in this, and it's, it's not that great. It's not that pretty. So right now I'm out here gonna, uh, I, I didn't know I was gonna be Raditz versus Krillin and Goku. So I'm, I'm already shocked. I'm like, why am I Raditz versus Krillin and Goku? I didn't like how these flying Nimbuses was going by though. The flying Nimbus is going by, hitting those capsules, that looks cooler to me. But here, here I have my first glitch too. Look, look, Goku didn't even, Oh man. I already knew I was about to be in time for some nonsense. Man, there go your boy Raditz, man. I'm tired of our boy Raditz. Like, Raditz is always in these games, and Raditz is always talking trash. And Krillin just standing right next to him, not afraid of him. And you know what? That Krillin, gone. And do some damage. So right now, I'm trying to get my bearings down. I'm trying to figure like, what are the controls? I know square should be punch and kick, and it is. And then I get hit by a structure of this. He did it with quickness, too. And and look, now, now Rats on his knees. Like, I pressed the O button, and he was on his knees. Now, for the longest in this battle, like, you can't hear what I'm actually saying, but I can tell you what I was thinking, because I just recorded this. I was thinking to myself, why can't I charge key? And why ain't these combos connecting and working like Tenkaichi? It's like it's Tenkaichi 3 combos, but we took away all of the... Actually, it's like we stripped away stuff from Tenkaichi 1, to really be honest. I think I could have did more in Tenkaichi 1 with some of this. Look, Raditz keep trying to do this uppercut kick. And look, Krillin over there charging key. I don't know how to charge key, Krillin. Like, look, look, Kamehameha waves coming at me. Man, this game, this game, this game, this game. So, so this was this wasn't great. This this was just not good. I was just out here getting my butt kicked. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this ride right now, so you guys can see it. And I'm gonna go ahead and do commentary at the beginning of moments where I need to, because I'm not gonna like go through this whole video and commentate over it again. But anyway, I hope you enjoy the gameplay. Uh, you can watch the struggle. The struggle is real. The game looks nice though. It does look it, the graphics are up to par, but man, these controls. And and here's the thing about the controls. When I press the buttons, the buttons are happening. It's just I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about this combo system. I, I think it's I think it's just weird. But hey, somebody's probably expert at this, somebody loves this. I don't know. But I'm glad we're moving on to Sparking and this Raging Blast stuff is done. Don't ever bring it back. It's done.
some Kakarot, but there's... But what if... Like, this was me trying to attempt to, like, uh, let me see, can I, can I, can I buy a Val? Like, is there anything I can do? Like, come on here. Like, give me something. Like, I'm checking the menus and I don't see no way I had to charge no key. So I'm like, man, there's just no way for us to charge key? We just doomed, y'all. We just doomed. We just doomed. We just doomed. So Krillin, man, Krillin keeps throwing those destructive disks fast, man. It... It is like this is you just can't catch your bearings up in this game. Like you, you can't flat to them. And I don't know what the lock on system is. It never tells us if we are locked on. My hits are just a little bit away from Krillin and it just doesn't hit him. It's just look, here's this. I don't know how I did this. And I don't know what that is right there. He's just planted on the wall. Look at a bunch of punches in the back. Like, I don't know how that happened. And now look at the camera. Look at that fantastic camera. Camera of the year right there. There we go. Uh oh, 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 oh. <laughs> but yeah, I'm I'm on just messing with this game. But yeah, it's it it's just something weird about it. That's all I can really say. It's just something weird about it. I wouldn't say it's a bad game. This is your only Dragon Ball Z game. It'll do the job. Like it'll get you to the whole story mode. Sometimes you fighting Krillin with Raditz though. I don't know what's going on there. But it'll get you to the whole t story mode. It'll do its thing. Uh, Raging Blast 2 I thought was better, but Raging Blast 2 did not do the story better. I can tell you that for a fact. They had this galaxy mode thing. They was doing anything. But, oh man, this was... Oh man. Anyway, this is a desperate struggle. We underwater and we just struggling, man. We just struggling. Look at these combos. I can't put together a combo to save my life, man. I'm, I'm pressing square and triangle. It ain't doing nothing. It's, it's just not doing it. But, uh... Yeah, that's about it. I hit him with that strong knee, and then it goes into, like, uh, the screen flickers, and it looks like I'm about to do something, and it just don't do it. These cancels are canceling them all. But it is what it is, and Krillin seemed to understand these controls really well. Look at Krillin. Krillin bouncing, bobbing, and weaving like he's been playing this all his life. These CPUs on normal was too much for me. I'm trying now, yeah, I'm trying. I'm fighting for dear life, man. I'm just trying my best. And then I got a Goku coming up next, man. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. This is, this man, Raging Blast, Raging Blast. I am raging. I am definitely raging while playing this game. Yeah. <laughs> 
So right here we lost. So yeah, this I'm came back. I'm back in the voice. But yeah, we we lost. We lost bad. We didn't know what we was doing. Uh, Goku for sure was gonna take us out. It was horrible. It was just horrible. So what I'm thinking in my infinite wisdom, like I need to figure out how to play this game because like I can't just trash on it. I gotta go into training mode and I gotta pay my dues and figure out some combos and and get this going because I can't I can't say it's a bad game and the controls are bad when now thoroughly you know knowing how to play it like I can't just say it's a bad game and call it a day that's one of the most unfair things you can do so I'm going to try to go to training mode as much of it as I can before I get sick of it just to learn Actually, really, I'm in here just to learn how to charge the key, man. Once I learn how to charge the key, I might just hit him with specials away. Like, I might not even care no more. I might just throw a special out. I'm like, uh, let's throw another special out. Let's throw a special attack out. Like, I mean, come on, man. Piccolo is trying to teach me how to move, Piccolo. Piccolo, come on. I know we know how to move in the game, man. We just need to know how to charge that key. So, anyway, I'm going to be going through these training things and... Oh, I know you're going to be seeing me move a lot, but don't expect no words to be coming out of my mouth. I'm just going to be out there just just lacking commentary up in this video. This Man, this Rage and Blast game was, was making me rage. But anyway, I'll let you guys go ahead and see the, the training part because I will make this its own separate section. And then after this training, we'll be heading back to the story mode to, <laughs> to see what we can do if we can do anything. And... I, and I remember I, I think a fly was coming around me, man. I was trying to knock that sucker out. So if you see me out here clapping, I got him. That's all you need to know. I, I got that, that sucker out of the way. He came flying by while I'm trying to go through training mode and get through my day of just finishing, uh, what is this, Raging Blast. And, man, this, this fake Ten Kaichi. Anyway, I'll let you guys go ahead and watch that, and I'll be chiming back in at the end of it. Cool.
Okay, so now we here in the uh we back into the Saiyan saga and we back to doing our thing. So we're gonna get our rematch with uh uh you know the kids, uh Krillin and, uh, and Goku. Yeah, yeah. We 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 older brother rabbits. We just gotta be able to take them out. But man, I sure do like this Nimbus though, man. Like Nimbus. Look at Nimbus. But man, I'm starting to get sick, man, of these guys. I I I didn't even believe that Raditz can do it. I'm spinning my head in the thing. Look at me. I look angry, man. I'm trying to take down. Oh, man. You saw Krillin throw them quick two cab blasters at me. Man, I threw a, what was that? Purple Sunday or whatever you want to call it. Like Saturday Crush, whatever you want to call it. That's the only move I can think of. Look at Raditz just kicking up his legs. Man. And, and I didn't know it until later on in the video, but I, I realized something about this. I realized that Raditz truly sucks. Like, he's just bogus, man. And they made me start off with this bogus character. And, and you know, you would think if the game gonna make you start off with this character, it, you know, they would flesh him out a little bit. Have his moves actually be somewhat decent, but nah. They had me be sucky Raditz, and guess what? Raditz sucks. So that's why I did the full special, man. I, I ain't care no more. Let me charge up and see if I can do it again. Ain't no limit? Oh, yeah, this definitely can't be online. Like, if Sparkin was doing this, we'd be in trouble. Look at this. A special again. Man, I don't even care no more, man. Like, like it, don't put it past me. I, I hit him with a special again, man. I'll keep charging up, and I'll do that special. Oh, man, look at Krillin. Oh, Krillin working me, man. I'm a, he over here doing cab blasts galore. And look, two kicks, two hit, two hops, and we get him out of there. Look, Krillin almost going help. Hit him with that Saturday. Cr oh, man, we got knocked out while we were doing it. And hit with a destructive disc in our face, Krillin, in our face. Uh, you're going to take some of these cab blasts, Krillin. Look, look, there go. Cab blasts. Look, look, one cab blast should do it, man. So now Krillin, like, dead in the water. So now we on the next guy, and the next guy's Goku. And look, here come a cutscene, man. I know y'all was waiting for a cutscene. Oh, no, ain't no cutscene. Let's just take them out. Let's skip that nonsense. But, yeah, this this was just this was just bizarre to me, man. I'm like, man, what can we do out here? We couldn't do anything. We couldn't do anything but get defeated like no others, like champs out here. Champs, chumps, whatever you want to call us. We would just get beat down. Anyway, I'm going to let this video play out, but we will beat them, and then I'll come in for the next one, and then I'll come out for the intro, outro. So, all right. Taking your son, Kakarot. Struggle all you want, but your only choice will be to join forces with me. Give me back my son.
Okay, so now we on the we we on the next fight. We on uh we got to beat Raditz with Goku and Piccolo. And as soon as I got in here, I realized something crazy, man. Like what I realized here was monumental. I realized that Raditz sucked. And anyway, but but watch this though. Like we got a little cutscene right here, but man, this game made me so mad. And y'all can come for me in the comments, man. I do not like Rage and Blast more. And I remember liking Rage and Blast too. I ain't never played Rage and Blast one, and we done. Just like what I did to Tenkaichi 1. I went to it, and I left out of there. I, I was smooth. I got up out of Tenkaichi 1. Oh, here's what I realized. Look at Piccolo. He got combos. His combos trying to be like Tenkaichi's, but they not there. But, yeah, yeah. I, man, I evaded Tenkaichi. I remember trying Tenkaichi, and I'm over here holding the controller, and I'm like, eh, this, this sucks. And then I was like, I ain't, I ain't going no farther than this. And I'm glad I didn't too because I went to Tenkaichi 2 and they fixed um, all the complaints I had with Tenkaichi 1 to be honest. And Tenkaichi 2 was just a way better game. It was just way better. So I put my time into beating that story mode and I actually don't regret it. That story mode was actually pretty enjoyable. But Tenkaichi 1, I'm glad I didn't do that nonsense. And then uh, Budokai Tenkaichi 3, well they story mode wasn't really doing nothing. But they, they combos and combats are much better though. So those were those were good, but same thing here with Rage and Blast One. Not so much. Get up out of there and then go ahead and play Rage and Blast Two. But don't expect too much out of Rage and Blast Two either, because I remember Rage and Blast Two didn't have no story mode. They had that Galaxy mode thing, and they didn't care with that. I remember they were just doing challenges and doing anything. I'm I'm probably gonna try that again just because I'm I'm trying to get through all these Dragon Ball Z games to compare them real quick before Spark and Zero comes out, but man, I'm running low on time because Spark and Zero sure is coming. And look at me, spamming special attacks, just spamming them. Like, I'm trying my best to just throw whatever special attack I can in my IQ, but there's nothing I can do. I'm just rambling now. It's just gameplay of me trying my best in the background. I'm just talking some nonsense now. But yeah, so if you in this video right now, I guess we can start talking about that. So yeah, I'm planning on getting uh, Sparking, not Spark, planning on getting Raging Blast 2 out. Um, what else? Uh, I'm going to get the other What If Saga of Tenkaichi 2 out. So I'm getting that out. Um, I may try Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. I'll see. It depends on how I feel. Um, I've done uh, fighters on this channel, so I don't really need to do it. I'm going to try to look at Xenoverse. And I might try to look at, uh, well, I'm probably going to look at Xenoverse 2. I, I got Xenoverse 1 and 2. I, I'll see. I'll see. But they're so similar that I might as well just look at Xenoverse 2. And I have Breakers. But I think it was free on PlayStation Plus. I don't remember ever buying Breakers. I don't remember ever playing Breakers. Like, that's one of the newest. That might be the newest one, isn't it? I, I just did not like that game. I thought Breakers was a horrible game. Like, I really thought, did I lose? Anyway, I really thought Dragon Ball Z, The Breakers, was just like a horrible game, man. It was it was just, I didn't want to run from Frieza and Cell all day. Why would I want to do that? So I don't know what they was thinking when they were selling us that game. They was, they was tweaking. But, oh yeah, this was this cutscene. So after this happens, yeah, I'm getting close to losing soon, bro. But yeah, I, 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 I make no promises with Dragon Ball Z Breakers, man. But but definitely probably Kakarot. And uh, definitely one of the Xenoverses. I don't know which one. Uh, Rage of Blast 2. I, was, I might look at Ultimate Tenkaichi or I might not. It depends on how far I get through and how I feel. So we'll see. I like how I said how I feel, which makes no sense. But anyway. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how we go on that. But we'll, 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 we will see. We will see. And then Spark and Zero. I have, uh, I, I believe I have stuff to do on that Monday. So I might not be able to get a video out on that Monday. Because I think it drops on that Monday. We'll see. I'll try. But I'm going to be busy. Um, 
Tuesday, I definitely will. I got y'all Tuesday, Wednesday, and the rest of the days. It's just probably that, not that Mondays. But I'm pretty sure you guys will be covered. Everybody going to be doing uh, Dragon Ball Z sparking. Oh, I lost. There we go. See, look. I'm a lost Goku now. But everybody going to be doing Dragon Ball Z Sparker. So if y'all can't find my videos, y'all find some videos on it. Just, just Google. But uh, yeah, I lost. And I just sat here for a minute pondering my life. Just wondering, why did I even play this game, man? This game was just a... This was such a miserable experience. I felt I felt better about playing uh, Battle of Z, to be honest. Like, a lot of people tell me Battle of Z was bad. But I, I enjoyed playing Battle of Z. I did not enjoy playing Raging Blast for a second. I got in here, I looked at the graphics, I'm like, oh, the graphics are nice. But this game is just weird to me. And I'm like, oh, okay, well, let's see how it goes. And I'm like, oh, it doesn't go. It just feels bad. This game needs to go. But anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, I'm Outline Man. I hope you enjoyed the video somehow. I know it was a weird one. I lost my audio in the mic, which is making me seem kind of crazy in this video. But... I got y'all with this uh, secondary force over. It wasn't much, but it was something. And I hope that helps a little bit. But yeah, I'm frustrated in this game. I, I'll see you guys in the next one. And stay cool. All right, everybody. Bye.